Hello my creative friends and welcome to my craft room. I'm just getting over bronchitis so I apologize if I sound a little nasally and um, if I cough I'll try and edit it out. But I wanted to show this card. I made this um, for a challenge on World Card Making Day and I was asked how I got this crisscross and it would just take too long to type it out so I decided I would film a video just to show you. This was inspired by a picture from um, China, I think, or Japan, and it was a beautiful lady in a silk, kind of a light mint green and turquoise kimono, and so I kind of wanted to play on that and make my own little kimono. What I did was basically took a square card and um, I took a piece of this, this is Twitter painted paper so this is the the background piece is a quarter of an inch smaller than the card base and then I took another square and um, I'm not sure about the measurements I'm sorry it's been so long since I made it I didn't write it down but I would assume the square was the same size or maybe slightly smaller. So I'm just going to show you this this square here is three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. And then what I did was I took my paper cutter and I'm going to zoom in for you, hopefully. So what you want to do, there's a groove here in your paper cutter and you just want to line up your points top and bottom in that groove so that you can get two triangles out of it. Then what I did was I took one triangle going one way and the other going the other way and I just overlapped them. So then you end up with something like this. Then what I did was I ran the ribbon across here and the ribbon tucked in here. And actually I did this the opposite way on this, but you would just run your, in this case it would be Calypso Coral. So before I hear, adhere it down to the card, probably this paper here, I would adhere it here. And then take another piece. And the second piece I just adhered basically to right there. And in fact, you could probably do that first. Just put a little glue dot under there, adhere this to the back, because you're only going to have that little scrap going right here underneath. And then to add a little bit to that button, it's one of those vintage buttons, I just added a bunch of pearls. And that hides the glue dot behind there. And to finish it off, this is from Mixed Medley. This background here, I just used my uh, markers to color in, the Mixed Medley. And I did some green on the scroll and blue, I believe it's Island Indigo, and certainly Celery. Um, but the blue on the, uh, the rest of the background. And then I colored in the the frame. I don't even know if you can even see that, but it's from Lovely Little Labels and then Friends is from Tiny Tags and I punched that out using the new Lovely Labels, one of the new Lovely Labels punches and then just did three more dots on the top to make it tie in to this part here. So it's hopefully that made sense <laughs> with my brain going a little bit fuzzy on the cold medicine but just wrap it around, tie it around. Um, you could even make one a little bit smaller than the other, but pretty simple, but a different different look. And so when it's open, it looks kind of like that. So even when I'm sick, I love being able to spend some time in the craft room and I'm so glad that the medicine is working and I'm starting to feel better. Um, I hope you guys get some time today, tomorrow, this weekend, to uh, get a little bit creative. Have a great day, bye.